hello dear students and once again welcome back to this online class video this is the sixth part of 13th chapter ways to multiply and divide of class 5 subject mathematics and i am jay prakash I start the class now let's know the today's topic name so today's topic name is practice time so here we have many word problems a b c d and e and one by one we will try to solve this all questions now come to a so question a is sukhi works on a farm he is paid 98 rupees for one day okay when sukhi goes to farm and uh, work for one day so he he get 98 rupees now if he work for 52 days so how much will he earn so here you can make a simple comparison that for one day he is getting 98 rupees so find his salary for 52 days so here you can make a compare that the salary of one day is given and here you have to find the salary for 52 days okay so one to many you are going here you have to find the value for many so let's know what may be its solution so solution a so first you have to write given in your notebook then you will write so he earns in one day how much rupees it is it is 98 rupees so second is statement he will earn in 52 days so salary of one day is given and we are finding for more than one means 52 so in this condition you will just multiply okay when you are finding the value for one to many so in this condition always you will multiply you remember that so 98 multiply by 52 so how much it is it is 5096 so for multiplication what you will do you will use Bella's method okay in this way you will arrange it now start to multiply with uh, 2 298 because 52 means we know 50 plus 2 so first we will multiply with 2 so 2 8 8 is 16 right 6 1 is carried so 2 9 8 18 plus 1 90 19 196 now what is remaining 50 so now 98 we will multiply with 50 so how much we will get uh, we will get uh, 0 and 5 8 8 is 40 so 4 will be carried and 5 9 45 45 plus 4 49 yes so now add the digits 6 it is 9 9 plus 1 it is 0 1 is carried 5 uh, 4 plus 1 5 so 5096 here you got it so in this way you will make a uh, multiplication solution but first write the statement and at last what you will write hence Sukhi will earn 5096 rupees in 52 days okay so this is a proper solution and this type of solution you will make your in your notebook in your exams now let's go to the question number two I hope that you have very well understand it now Question B. Harya took a loan to build his house. He has to pay back 2750 rupees every month for two years. Okay. It means in one month he has to pay how much rupees? 2750 rupees. So for two years, how much money he will pay? So two years we have to convert in months. So we know that one year means. 12 months okay so 2 year means yes 24 months so let's have a, another solution for uh, question number b so here is the solution first write we know then as you know that 1 year means 12 months so 2 years means 12 multiplied by 2 it is 24 months now you will write another statement now Harya paid money in 1 month how much it is 2750 rupees so he will pay money in two years and here you have to convert two years in months because in the first statement the loan amount was given for one month so in second statement we have to also convert year in month okay then we can easily compare one month 24 months so here we are finding the value for one to many we are going to find the value from 
वन टू मैनी ओके दिस इज वन मंथ दिस इज ट्वेंटी फोर मंथ सो दिस इज मैनी सो वन सेकेंड वी विल मल्टीप्लाई सो टू थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड फिफ्टी मल्टीप्लाई बाई ट्वेंटी फोर सो वाट विल बी द प्रोडक्ट या सिक्सटी सिक्स थाउजेंड रुपीज इट विल बी अवर प्रोडक्ट सो एट लास्ट विल राइट हैंस ही विल पे बैक सिक्सटी सिक्स थाउजेंड रुपीज इन टू ईयर्स ओके एंड हाउ डू वी गेट इट मीन सिक्सटी सिक्स थाउजेंड बाई मल्टीप्लाइंग दिस टू नंबर्स सो आई होप यू कैन मल्टीप्लाई एंड फाइंड इट्स प्रोडक्ट सो लेट मी डू दिस वन टाइम फॉर यू सो टू थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड फिफ्टी मल्टीप्लाई बाई ट्वेंटी फोर सो ट्वेंटी फोर मीन्स यू नो वैन यू विल स्प्रिट दिस नंबर सो यू विल गेट ट्वेंटी प्लस फोर सो फर्स्ट टू थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड फिफ्टी यू विल मल्टीप्लाई विथ फोर सो फोर जीरो जो इट इज जीरो फोर फाइव जो ट्वेंटी टू विल बी कैरिड एंड जीरो इज रिटर्न इयर ना फोर सेवन जो ट्वेंटी एट प्लस टू इट इज वन सेवन थर्टी थ्री इज कैरिड नाउ सो फोर टू जो एट प्लस थ्री इट इज इलेवन नाउ मल्टीप्लाई विथ ट्वेंटी सो इट विल बी टू जीरो जो जीरो टू फाइव जो टेन वन इज कैरिड टू सेवन जो फोर्टीन प्लस वन फिफ्टीन वन इज कैरिड नाउ टू टू जो फोर प्लस वन फाइव सो नाउ एट द ऑल डिजिट्स सो यू विल गेट जीरो 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 फाइव प्लस वन सिक्स फाइव प्लस वन सिक्स सो सिक्सटी सिक्स थाउजेंड रुपीज यू गॉट हियर ओके इन दिस वे यू विल मल्टीप्लाई द नंबर्स नाउ कम टू क्वेश्चन नंबर सी रति राम इज अ मिल्क सेलर इन द सिटी ही सेल्स थर्टीन लीटर्स ऑफ मिल्क एवरी डे एट वाट प्राइस या ट्वेंटी थ्री रुपीज पर लीटर पर लीटर मीन्स वन लीटर सो हियर वी हैव द वैल्यू फॉर सेलिंग प्राइस ऑफ वन लीटर मिल्क इट इज हाउ मच ट्वेंटी थ्री रुपीज ओके सो हाउ मच डज ही अर्न सो टोटल ही सोल्ड थर्टीन लीटर्स सो लेट्स मेक अ स्टेटमेंट फॉर इट नाउ सोल्यूशन सी given once again you have to write then rati ram sells milk in one day how many yes yeah 13 liters so rate of 1 liter milk is 23 rupees so now he earns money in one day 23 multiplied by 13 so 299 rupees so at last you will write hence he earns 299 rupees in a day so solution c is clear i think now come to d number question d a farmer sells 1 liter of milk for rupees 11 in one month he sells 210 liters of milk so how much does he earn in a month so direct come to solution page so here is solution d first write given now earning from 1 liter milk 11 rupees right so earning from 200 Ten liters milk, so we will multiply. Why? Because you can check one liter milk, and here is two hundred ten liters milk. So here we are finding the values from one to many. So in this condition, just multiply the numbers. Two hundred ten multiplied by eleven. So we will get two thousand three hundred ten rupees. So at last you will write. Hence, he earns. Two thousand three hundred ten rupees in a month. Okay, and you know very well how to multiply two hundred ten with eleven. Use Bella's method. Now come to the last question. It is E. And a company sells one liter of packed water for twelve rupees, and a shopkeeper buys two hundred forty liters of packed water. Keep in mind these things. Okay. Now come to solution E. First write given, then write cost of one liter of packed water. It is how much? Twelve rupees. So cost of two hundred forty liters of packed water. You will write two hundred forty multiply with twelve. So you will get two thousand eight hundred eighty. So at last you will write hence the shopkeeper pays two thousand eight hundred eighty rupees for two hundred forty liters of packed water. So in this way. practice time topic is uh, completed i hope that you have very well understand it now it's time to say goodbye so see you all in the next video till then be safe be healthy jai hind